Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope you are liking the series of Java 8 from our channel. In our previous videos, we have seen the primitive type variant of function and in this video, we will explore the primitive type variant of the consumer. So before wasting any time, let's get started. So I hope you remember that the syntax of consumer functional interface looks something like this. The consumer interface is a functional interface that defines an abstract method named accept which will always take a single argument and return no result. This method is used to specify an action or operation that can be performed on an argument. Now let's see the primitive variant of the consumers. So the primitive variant of consumers is INT consumer, long consumer and double consumer, which are used to define consumer instances to operate on INT long and double primitive types. So an INT consumer will always accept an input of type INT. A long consumer will always accept an input of type long. So an INT consumer will always accept an input of type INT. A long consumer will always accept an input of long type and the double consumer will always accept the input of double type. All these interfaces have the same accept method as that of the regular consumer interface. But it takes a primitive type argument and does not return any result. So here you can see the input parameter to an INT consumer is an INT. For long consumer it is long and for a double consumer it is double. Now let's understand INT consumer with an example. So here we have a class test INT consumer which has a main method inside it and we have defined an INT consumer that will accept an input of type INT and will directly print it to the console. So let's see this code. So let me compile it. And let me run it. So here you can see the values printed onto the screen. Java 2 provide the primitive variant of by consumers as well. So the primitive variant of the by consumers are object INT consumer, object long consumer and object double consumer. So here you can see that we have one configurable type of input and the other type of input is the primitive type. So here in the object INT consumer, the input type are T and INT value. Then in the object long consumer, the input types are T and the long value. And in the object double consumer, the input type are T and the double value. So this was it for today. Today we have covered the primitive variant of the consumer. In our upcoming video, we will see the primitive variant of the supplier. So I hope you like this video. So do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for yet another videos on Java 8. Till then, take care, bye bye and thank you for watching.